stairs. <sighs> stairs. The nemesis of the cleaner. You know why it's such a challenge is because the customer is staring at them at eye level when they're done, when you're done cleaning. It's one of the biggest judgment areas of your work. And it's not even an area that has coverage under most warranties because of its sensitive you know, abrasion. See, this carpet takes a huge hit. You know, cut, stare, your foot hits here, rolls over that nose, and cleans your feet as you go down. So most cleaners just don't give this the attention that it needs. Starting attention with this is to pre-vacuum your steps. Customers don't. Takes a while. You need to give it some time. You can go ahead and sort the machine up. <clears throat> you could use power heads, like a rug rack. You could use your crevice tools hooked up to your vacuum line so that you can get down into those crevices and those crotch areas, get up that nose really well vacuumed. Dry vacuuming on these steps that just don't get the attention that they should needs to be dealt with. Most cleaners ignore it. Take the time to pre-vacuum and get that done first. <clears throat> now, once you've done your pre-vacuuming step to dealing with your staircase, All right, the next thing we need to consider is getting your pre-treatment down. Well, in this case, we're gonna use the same pre-treatment pre system like we used before. We're gonna use our inline sprayer. Now you could use a pump up, an electric, lots of different ways to put your product down. We're gonna pre-treat the steps. After we pre-treat them, we're gonna scrub them with our little brush, and then we'll show you using the new HydroMaster stair tool on those areas. First, we'll get our water line. Water line. And Mario hooked that up for us, and I'll have him do the pre-treatment on that. And then we're going to use this. I've just got a little drill brush on a little side grinder. Gives us a nice scrubbing tool to get those stairs worked after our pre-spray. Much more appropriate than trying to run a larger scrubber, CRB, or heck, I've even run an RX-20 on them before. So pre-treat the stairs. We don't need as much on the riser. We mostly need to focus on the landing or on the tread and the nose. You have tread, nose, riser, crotch. Those are the parts of the step. Once we pre-treat it and got the free spray down, then we can agitate by working in maybe with our side brush. Get some good, those noses are always the needing extra help. Go ahead and hook up the, losing my headset. Getting too crazy here. And once we've got a good agitation and some dwell time done, then we can go ahead and use the stair tool. <clears throat> stair tool technique, similar to the carpet with an upright wand, but a stair tool is nice because it gets you at a level where you can work on it. and it's at your level without having to bend over so much. So I generally will do a similar forward backstroke overlapping, kind of flooding the nose out as I drop it down, forward back, flood that nose out as I drop it down over the edge. Get you a little different angle on that. So bring that back and forth, flood that nose where it's heavily soiled and drop it down. I usually will do about three steps like this at one step, all the way across, get all my stairs down, go back over and do a dry stroke. And get that top step. And then that drool that I caused on the edge, that's where I take my hand vacuum loose, make sure that cup is clean. Always wipe that down. Sometimes it gets a little slime in there and vacuum all your noses especially when you've got that Hollywood or that bullnose wrap in there and back in the crotch, back in that nose. We had that extra cleaning done. Makes a big difference. Since we're here, we'll talk about other, we call this upholstery cleaning, upholstery stair cleaning. I charge anywhere between four and $6 extra per step to do this process for a customer, to do that the stair upholstery work by hand. 